Imagine finding a single cancer cell among a huge sample of healthy cells. It's next generation cancer technology being used in the real world. We now have a molecular test that can find the one leukemia cell in like 100,000 normal cells. Very, very accurate, which is a fantastic way to follow patients. Since leukemia is a blood cancer, it's logical to test for it in the blood. Now doctors are looking for ways to detect minute blood cells that have broken away from a primary tumor and are circulating in the bloodstream. They're called circulating tumor cells, or CTCs. Tumors will sometimes shed cancer cells in the bloodstream, sometimes not. Prostate cancer patients may benefit from tests that screen for circulating tumor cells. You put seven and a half cc's of blood through the flow cytometry machine and it's pretty accurate for picking out how things are doing. It's not good enough to just to diagnose the cancer in somebody who walks in off the street, but if a man has prostate cancer, if that number of CTCs is going down, you know they're responding to treatment. If it's going up, they're probably not responding. For decades, doctors have relied on biopsies and snapshots like CAT scans, which track the progress of cancer. This new line of blood testing offers a less invasive way to monitor disease. CTCs are used in three common cancers, prostate, breast, and colon. Both prostate cancer in men and breast cancer in women tend to metastasize. So if they travel and metastasize, they very often go to the bone and therefore to the bloodstream. Colon cancer, a little less so. It may be years away, but oncologists hope to someday diagnose cancer through a simple blood test. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.